All right, good morning again, guys. So real quick, I just want to make sure that when you are talking about us on social media, use hashtag IscaCon26. Make sure everyone knows how much fun we're going to have and all the art they're missing by not being here. Um, we also are recording this year for social media so that it will be available content online. Um, real excited about that, so be mindful of the cameras and the audio. I'm going to introduce our speaker, but uh, make sure that you save questions for the end. He'll have Kage come up and help out with the questions, all right? So with that being said, I'd like to introduce the first speaker, my best friend. <laughs> Yeah, uh, trainer for Character Japan, Kosuke. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, first, I'd like to say thank you to all the ISCA members and the board members for giving me this chance. I am very honored to do the seminar here, so thank you so much. And I'm sorry in advance, I don't speak English well. <laughs> but I practice for this seminar, so please be. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Kosuke Miyagi. Please call me Kosuke. I'm 31 years old and from Japan. My hometown, Okinawa, is the southernmost island of Japan. Here. <laughs> the island is very small and hot, like me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Compared to the mainland of Japan, we Okinawa have a unique culture and unique looks. We are very chill, weird, and hairy. We are known for our long lifespan. But we are party monsters. We drink like crazy. <laughs> so you should come to Okinawa and drink with me. <laughs> it's been seven years since I started drawing caricatures. Seven years ago, I visited a Saksa shop in Tokyo. I met my boss, Kage Nakanishi, there, and he recruited me. In Japan, there are less chances to get hired as an artist, so I am very grateful to work at our company, Caricature Japan. I think that some of you guys might not know my work, and here they are. First, Studio work. Okay. Do you guys watch The Walking Dead? I've watched all the episodes until season seven because season eight is not available in Japan yet. I love Daryl the most. Michael Jackson? I was inspired by anime for this piece. I drew it in Photoshop. Joseph Gordon Reddy. Out of all mediums, I love graphite the most. I drew this one with pencil, scanned it, and added a little bit and the shadows and the highlights in Photoshop. Mel Street. I drew his I drew this with a ballpoint pen. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I like how I did the angle, the facial expression, and the back writing to show her role in the movie, The Devil Wears Prada. Uh, Ruth Liu. This is also done with ball uh, pencil and Photoshop recently. I painted out this and colored, colored it with Copic markers. Next, my live caricatures drawn at our shop. <laughs> when I draw people live, I try my best to capture their personality, not only their appearance. When I draw a couple or multiple people, 
I try to draw their relationship. I love the way she smiled bashfully. It was charming. So I choose to draw the moment. When I exaggerate, I try to make it cute. This model asked me to draw however I want to. While we are talking, I found out that she's a chemist. So this is what I came up with, she told me. The actual chemicals are not this colorful, but she seemed very happy about the drawing. Today, I will mainly talk about live caricature. In this seminar, we will go through, first, what is caricature? And second, how to draw caricature. Here we talk about how to get likeness and sketching with simple shapes, line work, coloring. The next section is how to create your own style. Caricature has so many various styles, realistic, cartoon, design, and so on. With so many interesting styles, how can we build up our own? I will talk about my process and thoughts. In the final section, I'll do a demonstration and draw a live caricature. I will be asking someone to be the model. So please help me with that. <laughs> yeah, let's start. Okay. What is caricature? So this is our definition of a caricature in our company. Caricature is humorous expression, which conveys the model's facial, uh, physical features and personality. So the important thing is to draw the unique impression you felt from the model, not drawing exactly what you see. How can we draw the impression? The key is verbalizing the unique features. You can just do it in your head, or if you are a beginner, I recommend writing them down on paper. The tip to find the model feature is to know the average face. The differences between the person and the average show the model's unique features. If you take a look at this picture, you can see everything is aligned and all the future are evenly spaced. There are many more standards for the average face, but if you have these rough ideas of what average face looks like, it will be easy to figure out what is special about the model face. Let's take one example, my face. <laughs> Compared to the average face, the shape of my face is more round. The placement of my eyes is lower than the average. My forehead is big. The part under my nose, filtrum, is longer. And I don't have a chin. <laughs> That's my understanding of my face. And most of the caricatures of me point out those features. All of these shapes show the same features, round shape, eyes are lower, tiny chin. They are always the same, no matter what the styles are. Here's another tip to get better likeness with the exaggeration. I always look for the balance using the T-shape. Draw the line across the eyes and the nose with the T-shape. If the T looks longer but free, makes the eyes closer together and makes the nose longer. Vice versa, if the tear looks wider, draw the eyes further apart and shorten the nose. That gives better likeness and strong exaggeration to the drawing. Uh, most of the faces have either those two types of tendencies, long T or wide T. But as an exception, sometimes more people have a longer nose and wider eyes, and short nose and closer eyes. 
In those cases, just exaggerate on the impression you felt. When you want to come up with more funny exaggeration, you can look for objects or animals which kind of looks like a model and use as inspiration. If it's an animal, cat face, monkey face, snake face, etc., it is an object, any kitchenware, any vegetable. Inspiration is everywhere. If the person reminds you of something, that's a great chance to draw a really interesting caricature. Now, I'll show you some of you uh, some of my drawings where I was inspired by living things or objects. Can you guess what it is? First, Snoop Dogg. Like a dog. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Next, we run the car. Looks like cat. Oh, sorry. Next, Ron Palmer. Guess gorilla. Trouble. <laughs> okay. Next. Do you want to mesh? Guess? This one. <laughs> Do you know what this is? This is a Japanese electro kettle. Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Next, Jason Statham. Guess. Right about. Here. Same shapes. Okay. Next, let's talk about the under sketch. I usually under sketch to capture the impression, draw the using simple shapes. If you draw an exact shape that you see, the outcome will be boring. To avoid that, I put emphasis on these two points. Draw simply as much as possible. Exaggerate the features. First shape, don't throw the small bumps or subtle angles. Try to capture it with the simplest, simplest shape. You can use a circle, triangle, or square. If you have teardrop, any vegetable shapes, or a figure eight, just make it simple. Simple. Next, the facial features. Here, the important things are placement, size, and shape. The order is shape first, center line, line across the eyes, then the nose, mouth, and the eyes. Again, try not to draw tiny shapes. Keep it, keep it shim, shim, simple to achieve likeness. Here is my other process. Shape, center line, line across the eyes, Nose, mouth, eyes. And then here I add something to capture more likeness. This is enough to move on to the line work. This is how I do it. More sample. Jack Black. Next, Chloe. Shape, center line.
Yeah, under sketch is simple. Yes. <laughs> Next, line work. In our company, Caricature Japan, we use Copic marker sketch to the line work. This marker has two tips. One side is a hard tip, and one side is soft brush. We mainly use the soft brush to draw the line work. When I draw the line work, I always pay attention to line weight. You can really see the difference. The picture with a good line weight has a good form and the three dimensionality, even if it's black and white. And this is my basic rule to create line weight. Which part of the line should be thick or thin? Basically, the thick line, outline, big mouth, shadow parts, the thin line, detail, lighter parts. If you draw your line as you pay attention to these points, even a black and white piece will shine. And the final part of the drawing process is coloring. It's more important to create value than to make the picture colorful. It's also important to create three-dimensionality, as you color with shadows and highlights. Here's my coloring process. First, brown to create the shadow. Second, pink to brush the cheeks, the eyes, and the mouth. And then, pitch for the skin tone. I often choose these colors for my Asian customers back home. But, of course, it depends on the model. After I finish coloring the face area, I go on the clothes, the background, and the hair. When I'm, go when I'm coloring skin, I make sure the shadow and the shade it strongly with brown and leave the white area for the highlights. So this is the last section. And this is a popular question from my coworkers. How can I develop the style I dream of having? I tell them the under sketches are always the same. Just change how you draw the facial features. Let's take a, a look at some of my drawings. Uh, model is Kage. For his shape, he has square shape and thick neck. And for his facial features, his eyes are far apart, small and slanted. He's got a big hooked nose. <laughs> <laughs> the under sketch looks like this, simple. The style of the drawing may change, but this under sketch doesn't really change. Let's see. First, a realistic one. Do you like it? Next, I drew him, I use the eyes and the nose from uh, Disney movie Mulan. Same under sketch. <laughs> Doesn't he look like a character from Mulan? <laughs> <laughs> when I draw him, I use the eyes and the nose from Arjun. Same under sketch. Like this. <laughs> I hope it's easy to see. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I hope it's easy to see that it's the same model, but each style is totally different. These drawings are based on the same under sketch, but if you change how you draw the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, it changes the whole style. This can apply to anybody. Uh, this is Nora. Using SpongeBob's features here. <laughs> uh, 
This is money. You think Box Bunny's features? Here. <laughs> if you want to draw in the style you like, just memorize various ways to draw the facial features. In the beginning, your drawing might be seen as an imitation, but I think it's necessary to improve our skills. I memorize and learn from many of my dream artist drawings. In the crazy mixture of my favorites, I think I developed my original style. As you may know, this is convention is a special chance to find your new dream artist and to ask them questions. I am very happy to be here and learn, learn this year again. Okay, so I'm going to do the demonstration, including what I talked about. Please feel free to ask any question. And we're live. Say hello, everyone. Swipe left and right to see all around. Surprise. <laughs> We're live over here at the convention, and I've, I'm getting drawn by Kosuke Miyagi, Golden Nosy winner, and he's presenting today at the uh, convention, uh, ISCA Convention 26. And uh, if you would like to say hello, just go ahead and post your comments. We'll, I'll get to it later, and hopefully, you know, go ahead and tag Kosuke as well. I'm just waiting on Manny. So I'll oh, okay. Yeah, you we are, me. Yeah. We are at the convention <laughs> here, and we're checking out what um, Kosuke's got to um, show us about his style, how he portrays a face, and uh, how his process works. He gets like this every time. He renders it so well. A very, very inspirational artist. And we've got uh, Kage right over here. Nice to meet you. I can't believe he's right there. He's that close. Usually he's like thousands upon thousands of miles away in a different country. And um, now he's, they're all right here. We're all here. It's amazing. You should be here. As an artist, you love art, you come to the convention. Awesome. It's really, really cool. So, um, just waiting for some technical stuff to get uh, squared away. I'm so happy to be drawn to a live sketch demonstration. And again, um, if you're just joining us, uh, go ahead and pan around with your finger on the screen if you have a mobile device. Um, and on Facebook, too, you'll be able to literally just around the room with your phone and and you can look all around you you, you can even wear your VR goggles your VR goggles and, and look all around the room and you can see it all just in its entirety you, it's as if you're gonna be here watching everything happen sorry really I didn't know the look at this So you're also recording for social media, correct? For what? For social media. Yeah, for these guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, man, he's here. Where are you going to post that so that everybody knows <laughs> how to Wherever access? Wherever they want to post it. Okay. It'll likely be on the Facebook group uh, for ISCA. <laughs> I know that it'll be on YouTube eventually. We're in. How far? I like to move the camera. Well, access it probably through 
Hashtag Isca Khan. That's I S C A C O N 26. Isca Khan 26. It's an entire. Okay. Drawing start. Please ask him any questions while you are uh, while he's drawing. Are we in the uh, underscan process right now? He has done it. Oh, okay. uh, it takes usually a uh, thirty second for him. Can he see? Can he see? Hold on, hold on. So it's hard. Yeah, give me some color. What color is the manager? I'm not sure if I'm still live here. I'm sorry, I'm still seeing. Okay, here we go. It was art asking me to art stick. Art sticks. download some other app. Sorry, I was having a little confusion. Uh, pink. We've got slow Color is pink. internet connection. Are you an artist? <laughs> <laughs> hey. What's your real job? How long have you been doing this? I have slow connection, but I'm still live. Good. I love that everything's going on. I can kind of see from the live video what my drawing is turning out like, but uh, more than anything. Yes! <laughs> Would you like him to smile? Koska has drawn me before, and of course, as the years progress, he, you know, it's better, so he's likely to approach it in a totally different way. I'm the same subject, he's the same artist, but his skill set is totally different and has completely improved and just, you know, uh, we're putting him on the spot. He's using he's a help a tip too, um, when he makes an offline first. Yeah, a hot one. And then a switch to a, a soft brush, to the detail. <laughs> By the way, you may pause the video too, which is one of the coolest features, and still pan around the room um, when, when it's all said and done. Uh, you can zoom in and it's just mind-blowing uh, technology, it's 360 stuff. Nice one. You see here we've got a few people watching. Hello. You're just joining us. We're live with Koske. He's from Japan. Kyosuke said he saw the uh, Alani's features as a, a square shape and all parts of the faces are uh, getting closer to each other. So that's he's working on right now. Does he always turn the page when he draws? Kami is always turning the page when he draws. Yes. I want to learn Japanese so bad. I want to learn Japanese so bad. I want to learn Japanese so bad. So bad. I, I know very little. And I want to learn so much more. If you like the video, so far, share it. It's not going to last long. Share it and tell your friends about it. If you know an artist, share it to them, tag them, say, hey, you got to check this guy out. Kosuke is amazing. Definitely. We've got people saying that it's against the law to share this video. So don't get caught. No, he can't. can't see that. No. Okay. No, that's a cheat. 
the drawing table, uh, we made it custom. I think what so, she uh, means is for me to pan around and yeah. check it out right over here and just have but this everybody one, see what he's working see. on right now. No. See, everybody can actually see it that way. That's it. <laughs> I'm not looking, I swear. To Lars. Look at this awesome shirt. Stylish and colorful. Really awesome. Tom Flew Hart is here. Let's get going. 26 in Orlando. 2017. We got, we got Matt Zimmer, we got minutes at the shop. Chris Moore. So there he is. We've got 10 minutes. I believe that is Cece. We've got Corey. Tom Ferracci and Ali Tom, whose initials are Art, A R T. That's amazing, right? Isn't that, she's like made of art. It's amazing. How much does he get paid? So talented, also. Shirokuro wa sen ni hakuen desu. It's about ten bucks for black and white. Yeah. <laughs> For my face? Need you little color 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 take Do you have caricature Japan shops all over Japan? Yes, we have a 28 locations. Wow. Guys got two locations in Japan. It's about 10 hours at shops. 10 hours. Mhm. Drawing hours, 8 hours drawing. Um and could be a uh, 10 hours straight. This is all over Japan. Not the whole time. His company is, is that five days uh, Caricature days Japan. Days five days in a week. Welcome to look it up year on round? Google and yes. see everybody's yeah. work. It's an immense company, a great company. And uh, Paul Kosuke is the trainer for is us. The one so uh, usually uh, uh, he teach us all over Japan. Started. He's Robin. He's very involved. Yeah, maybe uh, two, three days um, in a week. You know, last year he was inducted so, into the character Kage, Hall of yes. Fame. That's Kage Nakanishi what right here. The most That's who we're about training He's right next to me. So, uh, uh, try not to teach him, just give him a chance. And that's it. So we go all over the world, taking the uh, seminars or classes or coming here. So again, we learn from you guys. Please share. If you so that's what we do all the time. Share it and, you know, tell all your artist friends I'm uh, looking forward to uh, spreading the word about ISCA. This is what we are here to do is draw, learn from each other and become better. And put it into practice too. It's not just how many drawings you've drawn each month. watch what happens now. But not just because of that, but we have a plus solving system. We would love to see the growth. It's always a plus to you know, oh, uh, see the changes, the progression so from be a beginning artist to, to uh, a good so artist expect, to an excellent uh, artist. How long does the average sketch take in one of your Really jobs? cool to see. Six minutes in black and white and 12 minutes in color. Oh, wow. So uh, that's how we train people. Oh, I mean, from the quality, I thought you guys spent like half an hour, 45 minutes. Yes, yeah, we have a three different level customers can choose it. And the price is different. Yes. In different levels. I'm talking color. about uh, the live quick sketch. They the cheapest one. Do it uh, in different ways. Uh, I guess I would assume different price ranges too. Uh, and that's what they're discussing now. Standard <laughs> About forty dollars in color. And it takes probably a double time. Like a half an hour. Oh. Okay. So he's got the black and white. I'm going to show everybody over here what that looks like. So that's what that looks like. This is cool. I haven't seen it yet. I don't know what it looks like yet. Do you have a medium level color as well? Medium level? Yeah. There's three levels. Uh huh. 
No, the highest one is, I'm sorry, highest one is uh, like a, a, a getting a picture and take it two weeks. So that's like $100 to so oh, 50 points per show. It's a, mm. it's a totally different, more yeah. like a studio piece. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, studio oh. piece. Do you want to see a color of this? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's about to do color. That's awesome. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, it's it's color. Make him pay for it. <laughs> Fast brown. <laughs> He's starting with the brown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is uh, the first one. for that color. That's great. I like that. Um, <laughs> So apparently everybody wants to see color and um, this is exciting because normally he would, you know, yeah, that's the end. Just, just do a black and white for, just for the demonstration and so now he's adding color. It's very valuable to watch the artist actually do Coast the color. said um, he um, usually uses four colors in the face. And one basic color, and, again, and share this second, third, fourth, it's just a little bit, maybe a few right seconds now. for each. So, so he's starting, he's starting, I'm trying not to look. So he's starting Even like color, a skin tone like uh, myself, the um, he usually, he likes to use the brown first. Right he puts a shade, shade. And, and again, you're more than then to pan around pink, the room, peach. but you swiping left or right. working on right now. What kind of paper is that? I love his easel setup. Look at that. Uh, very soft. Xerox paper. Has good teeth. Xerox? Xerox. I'm sorry. Xerox. Is there a foam pad under his paper? Make it smooth? Yes. We put the three papers at the top of it. And then, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And how thick is the pad? Thick is a pen. How, how thick is it? The normal um, thickness. Three papers, so it's not that thick at all. And so uh, I think form, he's talking about the foam. The foam is, um, I think, an, almost an about the same thing as you guys use. An eighth of an inch, probably. Yeah. Same thing. Is it? Yeah, an eighth of an inch. Yeah. Okay. Um, I encourage everyone to have their own, and um, but the basic, the timing, and also a uh, uh, same material. Um, we are we are using the same. Same material. Every, every person same material. Same, same time. Same why. material. But I the different style. Okay, I see now before the better was draining so quickly. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it was, uh, like it any location based app like Google Maps will be yeah. better than just the tab. Yeah. So. Be mindful of that when you're going live. Okay, how do you deal with, uh, do you ever have rejects and how do you handle it in your business? Well, I think it's about the same to you guys. Uh, if customer didn't like it, we'll ask where did they, don't like, they don't like it. And we try to ask them, fix it. But if they don't like it, we return the money and all space. But most of the time, they ask us to withdraw. Well, well, I'll ask customers to choose. Are there samples? Do the artists have samples? Like, do we have samples above him? Uh -huh. Do they know the kind of style? Uh -huh. Yes. Um, how much training does the artist go through before they start drawing live? Basic training is for two months, eight times. And after they pass it into our company, and now uh, it takes uh, another two months for training, but they get paid. Do they, does the customer pay before or after, after. the drawing is done? After. After. What color is he using right now? 
今茶色塗って焦げ茶塗ってピンク塗って今黄土色塗ってます茶色から焦げ茶からピンク黄土です黄土、うん、He used the sienna brown and dark brown pink and yellow color So he's using Prismacolor pencil, correct? Yeah. Prismacolor pencil or art color sticks. art sticks for his,、uh, his piece. Could it not have any? It's got space for his work. You,、uh, now you can get an Amazon, now you can get an Amazon. 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 I asked him why he chose this shape and uh, uh, composition. Uh, he said, Alani is a very energized and loves talking and smiling and fun. So he,、uh, he decided not drawing straight, and that shows more movement. He said,、It's, it has more interesting t h e m e Yes. <laughs> I'm、mm-hmm. so tempted to、yeah. hang around and look. He doesn't erase the pre sketch. He doesn't. Does he do the pre sketch with a color stick or with pencil? Color pencil. I mean, not sticks. Are you using mainly Prisma color or do you use the Neo colors? Prisma color? Yes. You're not using the Neo color, the, the、no. soft, no. luscious ones? No, we don't use that. What are your new colors? Who are the artists that Kosuke is most inspired by? Kosuke is the most inspired by Kosuke. Kosuke is the most inspired by Kosuke. No. Yes, Kage and Joe Brown. And by the,、uh, by the T system that you had, also a little bit of Tom Richmond. It was in his book. Not the original characters. やっぱりアラニのこのエナジーが冷たい色よりも暖かい色の方が似合うと思う。So color, color, uh, うん、そうですね。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、I really liked the piece he did last year.、Uh, wait, two years ago already. Holy cow. When I was sitting out there to, at the same table、uh, for the convention, and、uh, I got to just、yes. gather some of their energy and just like, continue、uh, to work. It was really cool. And、uh, so now he's joining me again. I, and I appreciate it. Thank you so much, k o s u k e After two years. Thank you. 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 Thank you.